Alright, a lot of people have been asking how to remove the internals from the T850 transmission on a 2004-05 SRT. So I've compiled this video here. I'll show you most of the steps. Right now I'm jacking up the vehicle. Make sure you put a good quality jack stand underneath. And make sure you support the vehicle weight onto the jack stand. Grab an impact, shoot off your tire. Alright, next we move on to the T40 Torx bolts on the cover. Make sure you have your steering wheel turned all the way to the left. And my drain bolt was stripped, so I got the pail underneath to collect the oil. When you pull the bottom two bolts out, all the oil comes out. Because I am using an impact to get all these bolts out on the last two, I put a swivel on the impact so I can get to the back corner. I use a screwdriver to pull off the cover, a flat screwdriver. Here you can see the cover. These are those two little troughs sticking out, that's what oils your transmission. It uses gravity feed transmission, not a pressure pump. I have a snap ring plier in my one hand. I'm pulling this big, the large snap rings off, off the black bearing and the blue bearing. There we go, that's both of those off. Alright, now I'm using a 13mm with the swivel, and I'm pulling off all the case bolts. Make sure you get all of them. There's one hidden up top, pretty much goes right behind your hydraulic clutch line, and there's one hidden kind of at the back. You can see the swivel on it there. Alright, I go underneath, there's a little ledge, and then I tap on it with a hammer. You can see the remainder of the oil drains out into the bucket and on the floor. Alright, gently slide it off. There's one wire connector on on the top left. I should have taken that off earlier, I just forgot about it. So just pinch on that and pull and it comes out. There you go. The oil catches in there and drains into the pan. Right now up top, remove the battery, 10 mil on the posts, and on mine I have a, a strap going over the Optima battery, so it's just a 13 mil. Once the cables come off, the straps come off, the batteries are simply pulled out. I always try and stress doing the negative first. Air filter, just a flat screwdriver to pull it off, pull the whole tube out. I grab a 13 mil. I'm going to go in and start pulling off the shift selector. For the shift cables, you just pull up on them and they just pop right off. I start the bolt with the wrench and then just work them out the rest of the way with my hand. And for some of them, you can just reach your hand in and get the ones on the back side just by spinning with your hand from the back there. You have to pull that motor mount out as well. I think that's about a 19 mil. Here we go, I'm going to load it up and just snap it off right now. I moved the jack from under the door to the under the transmission to hold the engine. And as I pull that bolt out, the engine shifts down just a nudge, and that's enough to get that one bolt out.
Alright, I'm just sticking my hand in there and getting the back, back few bolts out. And here's the bolt that everyone has trouble getting out, and they're always talking about it. Basically, do all of the other bolts first. You can see how it moves up and down. You're going to have to put an open end on that one, and just turn it and slowly lift up as you go. And it, you won't get the bolt all the way out Well, if you leave that selector on. And just lift up and just take it out quarter turn by quarter turn. It takes the longest. There's also another one on the back side of that. That's a little bit hidden. You've got to make sure you get that, too. There, I took a 15 mil to pull out the reverse gear and that shaft there and then everything just pulls right out and that's what you're left with when you're done